Why, hello again. As for my absent, for the past few months I've been quite busy um, designing and testing the new PCB. It took me longer than I anticipated um, due to some design corrections and uh, changing from two-layer board design to a four-layer uh, in order to reduce the electromagnetic interference and uh, make it uh, more industry compatible. I've also added some extra features such as a support for an external wired remote trigger. Uh, this is very useful for a uh, stop animations and a support for an external film magazine. Uh, yes, I'll be making a external uh, film magazine attachment uh, down the road which should extend uh, shooting time uh, quite considerably. All right, cut to the chase. Let's see what I've been doing for the past few months. A few moments later And done. All finished and ordered. Whew. FBI, open up! Hmm. So soon. You've got mail. All right, enough with the small talk. It's now PCB assembly time. Shall we go? Okay, let's start. So, to summarize the PCB works 
and is fully operational. The PCB also features a firmware update capability, so that means that the end user can also perform a firmware update or solder update to, let's say, latest version uh, by USB-C connection to the computer. Um, and it's now ready for my next step, which is CAT or 3D designing of the camera's housing. Basically, a shell with mechanical components. Uh, this will be, uh, of course, divided into um, many uh, update uh, videos. So for each major uh, update, there will be a uh, video release. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.